Tokyo is beautiful. I think this is my favorite beach. I like number two, but this is amazing and so clean. And I will tell you guys, yes, you know, all the African countries are beautiful, but as far as landscape, Sierra Leone has really been gifted. taken forever but so much has happened um, since um, early January when I got back and I initially started putting these videos out um, the first of which is I got engaged and I'm definitely gonna um, <laughs> show you guys some of that in one of my following videos but also just with everything happening with corona um, and just just kind of relaxing and recovering from my trip i just took some time for myself but i definitely want to give you guys um, more information about my sierra leone trip and this video is basically not only a finale but just an overview of things to do in sierra leone and what i did with my cousins and friends so picking up where I left off in my last video, we headed to the Hub Hotel. This was Christmas Day evening. They have great food, sushi, a lot of char-grilled food. Um, this was me ordering my shrimp platter, um, really great frozen drinks and stuff like that. And they have a nice pool and everything. And from there, we went to Warehouse. If you ever go to Sierra Leone, you'll actually get tired of Warehouse because that's the main like popping club. Um, where everybody goes almost every night um, but that's where you're more likely to see a lot of people um, and then of course this was my sister's 24th birthday we celebrated in Sierra Leone and actually the last time we were there in 2005 we celebrated her 10th birthday so uh, this was us taking some shots to get ready for the night before we went to Scarlet this is the lounge that is within the Laguna Hotel um, this was actually my favorite place. It's so pretty. It's outside by the water. Um, if you look down by that ledge, there's actually a whole other section. There's an inside section. And it's very classy, very chic, and I loved it. Um, we celebrated the other part of her birthday here. Um, and it's just a vibe, honestly. Sierra Leone has some great clubs. And then lastly, the Ball in Freetown function. So this was their black and gold party. If you recall, I did attend um, their pool party um, in my last vlog. So they host events for the JCs, and this was one of them. Hey guys, so it's beach day, and I also haven't seen my sister's birthday. So we're going to one of the best beaches in Sierra Leone, number two beach. So it's about, with traffic and stuff, it might take us an hour, maybe 45 minutes, but you guys will love to see this once I get there. So, I'm gonna keep it at the beach. Did I already give y'all Look at my brains? Okay. But yeah, we're going with our cousins, a lot of friends and stuff. So it's about to be lit. At the beach, again. Last night was a lot. Today, I think my the swelling in my head went down. <laughs> How do you swell? <laughs> because now it's itching. That means the hair's growing. We made it to the beach. So this is 
number two beach. Um, I'll definitely say the main things I love about it is it's definitely a tourist beach, meaning they have huts and tables that you can, um, you know, take to put all your stuff and for your family to set up your food and everything, a speaker if you even want. Um, you can order food, hookah, um, you can do jet skis. They have so much stuff for you to do. So this is number two beach. The sand is really fine. This is like Our first time at this beach was because in 2005 when we came the road to get to this beach wasn't um, necessarily paved so we didn't we only went to Lumley Beach which is the main beach on the strip but um, this is definitely a new favorite <laughs> So we're on our way to Toke and we're at the toll road, if you guys can see it. So um, not too long after we visited number two, we made our way to Toke Beach and what you're seeing right now is the toll road. Um, that's one of the routes you can take to get there. It is longer, but of course the road is paved better um, it's a smoother ride um, but when we're coming back you're actually gonna see um, the dirt road that we take a little bit of what I could get of that um, which is very rustic that's probably the best term I can use um, but it's definitely bumpy because it's not a paved road um, but I will definitely say I thought number two was my favorite beach until I got to Toke um, which is more resort style still touristy but so much more just tranquil So we're going to Banana Island today, and yay for us, because we woke up for once early, early. before 11 o'clock. <laughs> so we're at the Sea Coach docks, the Pelican Sea Coach. This is actually what brought us um, over back over to the peninsula, to the city from the airport. Um, but we're here to start our Banana Island tour. And um, let me show you guys, that's the business Sierra Leone travel office. So that is where we book the tour. And they do a lot of different things around Freetown. They take you to Bunce Island, the Chimpanzee Sanctuary, and a couple um, of other things. But Banana Island is um, like historical, so we're gonna see some different stuff because if you 
guys didn't know already, Freetown was established um, for freed um, slaves from Nova Scotia, Great Britain, and some other places. So, I hope to learn a lot today. Don't mind the bag under my eyes, because that's just me. But, see you guys soon. Hey, hey, hey. Red Oh no. The girl's name is dramatic. Her name is dramatic. Oh my god. The whole corpus is just put it in your face. No. Your name is dramatic. Okay. Okay. As if you weren't yelling to get on the sea coach. I wasn't yelling. I did it real quick. No, Tasha was like, hold on, hold on. All I said was hold my hand. Hold my hand. Okay. So uh, let me just give you a brief orientation um, about where we are going. It was once a slave island that used to produce a lot of money for the people of England Thank you. during the transatlantic slave trade. But here where we are is called Aberdeen. Aberdeen is a place where we have all our luxury beaches, luxury hotels, and here was found in 1829 for the captive slaves. We have people we call the captives. We have two types of slave trade in Sierra Leone. We have the era of the British and the era of the Portuguese. It started from the 5th century when the Portuguese started the slave trade here. But the type of slavery that we are doing was different from the one which was reintroduced in 1670. <laughs> Island was used as a slavery island. Where you are standing is called King Waf. We have two Waf here. We have the Big Waf and the King Waf. The King Waf purely was for the royal family, whom we were operating here, or merchants. And the Big Waf, where you have the oldest cotton tree in the city of Sierra Leone. <laughs> You see the same cannon. During the transatlantic slave trade, these islands we are attacked by pirates whom we are taking slaves illegally out of this island. And they want to protect this island. These cannons we are seeing are from England. Some people <laughs> have found other options. So of course I have to cover one of my favorite
pastime favorite things to do which is shopping and um, I'm gonna show you guys just a few clips from Big Market and PZ Market in Freetown um, I could only get so much footage because um, we got a lot of snatch and run situations as far as theft when you're in the market because it's a crowded place um, but I just wanted you guys to see some of the stuff that they offer fabric bracelets waist beads all that good stuff so we are at the PZ market, um, but it's really PZ because they do the English pronunciation of the alphabet. And it is packed. We're just trying to get stuff before our last day. And yeah, I need to put my phone back before it gets stolen. Okay, bye. No, no, it's not this now. attempting to go back to number two beach one day um, on New Year's Day at that and realizing how crowded it was ending up in traffic and heat for hours we decided to have a very relaxed day at Country Lodge which was perfect um, it's at Hill Station near where um, the president of Sierra Leone resides and it's a beautiful hotel and resort where you can eat lunch use the pool for the day and I didn't realize actually how much how refreshing pools are um, when you're in Africa because they're cool um, but it was definitely like one of our most relaxing days so we're here at Country Lodge today um, this is one of the resorts near where the president lives and I'm on the balcony you can see a lot of free town from here Like I've said a couple times, this is a city on the hill, so when you're up, um, you know, really high, we're at Hill Station right now, so you can see just about everything, and it's so pretty here, it's a nice resort, you get food, there's a pool here, because it kind of had a strenuous day yesterday trying to go to the beach, um, because everybody decided to go to the beach on New Year's Day, so it was too crowded, but today's lovely, a day of relaxation, and it's just so pretty. And I will tell you guys, yes, you know, all the African countries are beautiful, but as far as landscape, Sierra Leone has really been gifted with landscape. And for those of you who don't know, Sierra Leone means mountain lion. Um, so when the first Portuguese settlers came here and they saw the mountains, they said it was like a lion. So that's how we got our name. It's not French. A lot of people think it's French. I don't know why. But yes, it's Portuguese. Hey, Safi. Hi. This is my cousin who has been a very gracious host during this trip. The pool being that cold is the best thing that has happened to me in a couple of days. That and any fan that I see. 